Um, well, as always, we really appreciate you taking some time to spend with us. Um, and especially Steve, we, we appreciate your time and your partnership and uh, we'll, we'll get going here. I wanted to, you know, before we get moving on this and then just to kind of, you know, reiterate why we do this is obviously curation is a big part of what we exist to do. And um, the thinking behind that is that we believe really strongly that to extend for our customers, help our customers um, extend their brand into the clothing and promotional items that they use. Um, they need a partner that helps them curate not just products, but the right products. And that that also then becomes us not only curating products, but curating partners. And um, so the 10-ish partner series that we do each year um, or trying to do each year and, and will execute this year are part of that. And Snugs is a great partner of ours, has been for a long time. Um, I know Brett's a big fan. Uh, so am I. And, and we've done lots of things with them. And so we really thought they'd be a great uh a great partner to bring on and there's i think you know there's a lot of things that are that everybody may be familiar with that they do but there's some cool things i know steve's going to talk about that we saw yesterday so steve before we get into it you know obviously i want to thank you for your time and, and the work that you do for us but before we get into the stuff about snugs tell us a little bit about you and how long you've been with snugs so i've been with snugs about five or six years now as in the national sales manager role so i travel all over the country meeting with uh various uh companies like 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 goodson and and I'm just kind of telling our story. And I've been in the industry for 30 years. So this is my last year was my 30th year. So it was a bang up year, let me tell you. But uh, I've seen it all. I've been, um, I've been around promotional products uh, for even longer than that. And I think it's one of the cool things that you guys understand about promo is the fact that we are advertising just like a billboard or just like a, a newspaper ad or a radio spot. And I think a lot of people miss that as when they start talking about what kind of items they're going to give away at a trade show or, or whatever. And I love that you use the word curation at the beginning, because that's what we do at Snugs. We try to curate a line of products for you guys to, to sell that. Um, and for you guys out there watching to use in your business that are, that's very unique and trend on trend and, that fits in with your whole strategy. And I, I Landon kind of uh, mentioned it at the beginning, but I was reading their blog. If you guys haven't gone on and read the blog, they just did a fantastic blog on um, strategy and how to use promotional products to build your business. And it it's really goes along with the same strategy that Snugs has always had that, um, you know, the, the impact of, of what you give away is really a brand extension. <clears throat> so you do that with, um, you know, you want something unique, something that's on trend, something that is super cool. And also maybe, you know, some full color aspect or something that will uh, really tell this brand story that you guys have. And these guys get it and we collaborate all the time and it's just super fun. So I'm anxious. To, you know, I'm glad to be here to share it with you guys. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to get into it. Um, so before we move on to talking about snugs, one one thing I like to always ask the people we bring on is tell us one really unique thing about you that, that nobody would know or maybe that would surprise us to know about you. Well, as somebody that's been in sales and, you know, I, I have the gift of gab and you can run around and talk and but you know, I went to art school. You know, I, <laughs> I guess a lot of people fall into this business and everybody doesn't know I, I got a degree in painting from college back in the 80s. So how about that? How'd you, you find know, your way in this business then? Well, my, I'm from a small town in Tennessee. I'm coming to you guys from Memphis today, and I never there really left the South. But uh, we there was a company called Worldwide Line that did coffee mugs and yeah. things like that that started back in the 30s. And um, that was my hometown where my fam, my parents went to high school and met. And my mom went to college with one, you know, with the president of the company. And I was looking for something else to do <laughs> once the art thing wasn't working out. <laughs> <laughs> what is it is kind of interesting though like because i know you, you and i know you'll talk about this in the presentation you talked to us a lot about you know yesterday about you know snugs being makers and and i know that there's a lot of people on the call here and a lot of people that will watch it when we record it or when we distribute the recording that that you know brett and i talk a lot about that what we're seeing from customers is they like brands and they like you know quality they like the maker aspect and, and we actually have a partner coming on next month that is taking that maker approach in the food space and we're excited to kind of talk about them so you know, you've talked a little bit about, you know, the next things that I try to review before we jump into the presentation is like, you know, you've talked a little bit about snugs, but, and I think the next question is always like, what do you love most about the company you're working with? 
but it sounds like because your background is art that you really love the fact that Snugs is pushing into this oh. space of being a maker. Yeah, they're they're makers and they're innovators and they're very creative. I people ask me all the time, what what does Snugs even mean? Why is that a name for a company? And I, I just want to show you this little. Uh, you guys might recognize this. It's a rolled cotton screen printed uh, eyeglass retainer that you put on your glasses. And this is as a promotional item that you could give out with your logo on it. This is that's what Snugs invented. And you guys all talk about um, how that item has progressed through the through the years. But they were the first ones to do it. And that was the first product they ha ever had. And they made it in an attic in Las Vegas before they moved the company out to Salt Lake City. That was 30 years ago. So they've started innovating back then and kind of continued. We've grown over the years to do a lot of personal care, sanitizer, sunscreen that we make in-house. So we have a chemist. We, we actually make the product, put it in the bottle. So it's all FDA approved and safe. Um, you guys, anything that goes on your skin comes right from the USA in our factory. And uh, we've expanded into making some cool uh, gifts like the puzzles and the leather items that we do um, yeah. in our traverse line that, how does that fit into like a sunscreen or personal care? It all fits in because we make it in house in the USA. So that's super yeah. cool. No, that's awesome. Um, well, look, man, I, I want to really just turn it over to you and let you get into your presentation and, and we're excited. I know um, Rhett and I kind of went through a dry run of this yesterday with Steve and um, we, we came out the, the backside of that presentation excited for you guys to see what he has for you. So I'm going to turn it over to Steve and uh, let's get rolling. All right. So, this is, uh, we'll just get right into it. We, you know, with our partnership with Goods and what we like to do is really help you guys figure out what you want to do for your, for your projects. And um, we've got some, I guess UPS is here. Sorry about that. Um, we've got some awesome, uh, high, you know, high res content um, for that you guys can use to promote what you guys are selling. We do free virtuals and store, storyboards, rushes, things like that, that help, you know, our partnership and help you guys get the goods that you want. So, you know, and I, I, was, I was telling them, if you guys need free spec sample, when you want to see the actual product with your logo on it, you know, get with the guys and they can get with us and we can create that for you. Um, we do like right now, you guys have all heard about what's going on. I'm sure with supply chain in the world and, um, turn times are, are, are crazy, that kind of thing. But what we've done is create this Zip It program, which is next day shipping on 80% of our products. And Brett's a big fan. Uh, we can pull some last minute stuff if we get an order by 2 p.m. Eastern time, which is Kentucky time or Delaware time. <laughs> we can ship it the next day, which is super awesome. And um, that's something that we've, uh, you know, we put in place all through the pandemic. So we're able to keep this going to serve our, you know, serve the, our guys. Also, we do fulfillment. And I know this is a big partner uh, with goods and we can actually help you guys warehouse kit and drop ship products all over the country. So I'm just going to touch on this briefly. We've got a huge warehouse. So if you guys need to um, do 300 drop ships all over the country, have us kit it up, box it, make it look really cool, put some crinkle paper in there. We have that option to do that for you guys. Just reach out to Landon and Brett and we can get that going yeah. for you. And I think I told you, Steve, I, you know, just jump in here and just reiterate for our customers that like, definitely, I mean, we did it before, but definitely over the last year, um, we've done more and more, you know, whether it be kit, putting kits together for, com for companies and drop shipping them out or, um, just holding product and fulfilling it due to the, you know, people working remote, clients being remote. Um, and so, you know, Snugs in this case has sort of an under roof fulfillment option for us. And, uh, but then we also have other options depending on where somebody might be located. But yeah, I mean, we're getting more and more into fulfillment and logistics for customers because we're finding it adds a lot of value. So if you, if you have need for that or want to talk about that more, obviously it can be a little bit of a Little, little complicated and, and, you know, take a little bit of conversation, but once we're sure. having a conversation about it, we can simplify it pretty quickly. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people are still working from home, um, that kind of thing. So it's, they're still doing uh, all of their, um, you know, you, every company still wants to honor their employees or, you know, when they, when they, 
when they hire new people, just give them a welcome kit, things like that. So it works out great. We just introduced a new line of um, drinkware for the summer, which is you've got your double wall tumblers with the straws and um, party cups and bike bottles, things like that. These are super cool and ready to go really fast. So it's like a three day turn on these and we can get them out quickly for all your summer events. If you're doing any kind of company parties or just, you know, want to give something that um, it's got your brand on it. That looks super cool. This is a new line of for us called quench Q N C H. The marketing team gets kind of crazy. Y'all I'll just warn you right now. <laughs> no, I like, I, the thing I would say about this is obviously there's a lot of places you can get drinkware, but what I like about it is it's, you know, it's a pretty targeted line of options. The pricing across the board looks pretty reasonable and it sounds like it can be done quickly. I think the example you gave to us yesterday was yeah. a distributor came to you and had gone to maybe some other sources and they were out of stock, which again, stock continues to be a challenge in our industry. You guys had stock, you were able to turn it quickly. So, um, you know, I think that to contextualize this is what, why we would like something like this is again, so that our customers understand it's quality product at a reasonable price that's in stock and can be done quickly. Absolutely. Perfect. So summer right now, we're in the middle of sunscreen season. So the events are happening. I know you guys probably are planning some things. We you know, trade shows, uh, runs, walks, events, all that kind of thing where you need to be outside. The sunscreen options are awesome. And you'll, you'll see on the right there, the uh, sunscreen bottle with the lip balm that snaps in. That's just another example of our innovation and trying to bring cool products you guys that um you know gives you a couple of different options full color branding you could do a sponsor you could sponsor a golf tournament or something on the lip balm put you know the golf course graphics onto the uh the bottle of sunscreen and just those options are really cool we've got uh dye sub cooling towels dot drawstring backpacks all the kind of things but you'll notice a trend of you know a lot of full color which is what we like to do too so I said this yesterday. I really do like that sunscreen item with the with the lip balm. I know every time I go to a golf outing, without with it seems like without fail, I realize I forgot sunscreen. And uh, I know. Yeah. So that, you know, I, I think, and again, it's a subtle little design change, but I, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. And would yeah. probably be you know it's not, again something that a lot of our customers have probably done tons of golf outings, given away a lot of things, but I don't remember seeing this item in any outing I've been in. So it'd be a way to take something that's um, you know relatively common, but be somewhat unique. Yeah. When you make the turn, you know. After nine, he's like, oh, my arms are burning on my head. It's just enough to get you through the rest of the, the rest of the course. Yeah, here's some lifestyle images of these uh, quench bottles. Um, very, very cool design. And uh, I think that's the thing. It's, it's all about perceived value. When you look at the, the, um, the Yuma on the left. It's a, it's a cool water bottle with that camelback styling without the price. And fantastic graphic opportunities. I love it. Uh, Thermos too, I think when you talk about brands, we have become the exclusive supplier for Thermos in the industry, which is a good fit. We're, we're both older companies. We, Thermos has been around since the early 1900s and they've kind of seen, you know, the rise of Yeti and Swell and all these brand bottles that are in our industry. You guys have probably bought some of those and um, finally said, Hey, you know, Maybe it's time for us to jump into this space and offer some really cool, creative, innovative bottles that they never let promo have. It was always just available in retail. So we've got a cool array of, of product there from food jars to, you know, hydration bottles, that kind of thing that we're offering. So this is a nice um, alternative to say a Yeti or those other name brand problems, um, products. This is some of the things we do with Thermos that makes it stand out. So we can get it out the next day. You get us an order by two o'clock, we can ship it. We've got low minimums. Um, we have the inventory. We do all the decorating at Snugs. And uh, you can kind of see there one to three days for us, other name brands, four to six weeks. They have to ship them to another supplier or decorator to get your imprint on there. Um, and they're more expensive. So what we've done is really, um, we're not cranking that price up just because it's a, a promo item. It's the same is, price is, as retail. Is Life Factory, I know this is kind of a silly, maybe a silly question for me to ask. Is Life Factory a brand that's owned by Thermos? Is it? 
Yes. So if you, okay. you guys have seen uh, the Life Factory, I'll scoot over here. I've got a picture of it. These kind of things with these um, kind of hard rubber glasses, you know, they got really cool designs. Um, we've got the wine glasses and the uh, tumblers. So and Life Factory. Brett, Brett, didn't you recently do, uh, you work with a client on something like this? Yeah, no, it just opened up his own wine winery and wanted nice. a unique gift option for his uh, gift shop that they had out there and they got them, love them. Love Perfect. Them. Yeah, it's super cool. And I think it's something that people recognize and it's, and, and it, you know, as an, as a gift to give, it comes in the, I'll show you, I've got a picture of the retail packaging here. You see, it comes in the Life Factory box. You get a set of two. So that's really awesome. Um, yeah, so we can print a bunch of colors on here too. So you see the uh, full color aspect six color pad print but we can make your logos look really nice and that's all dishwasher safe ink that was a big deal for us to develop a you know an ink that's going to stay on because it says don't dishwasher not dishwasher safe but thermos is really big on uh putting things in the dishwasher because that's what you do <laughs> can i get so an amen to that that is amazing yeah. <laughs> um now real quick on the thermos thing brett just to just to demonstrate you recently did a large order for a company here in Louisville where we kind of started the conversation around Yeti and we ended up on a thermos product and you delivered that to them and they loved it. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. It was the, uh, the thermos, it was the guardian tumbler. Um, and I'll link it out here, but it ended up being a fantastic, um, alternative. Yeah. To that price point, it hit every ounce of what they were looking yeah, for. Yeah. This is the guardian up, up here. Ended up loving it. And I just put a link to it in the chat box as well, if you wanted to kind of take a look at it. But I really like what Thermos is doing as well, because I don't know, it's just got a very artistic look to it. It's not that like rugged, more or less, whatever that you're used to seeing with, with the, uh, with the Thermos brand. Yeah. I love the white metal, like the yeah, Ugg bottle good. here. It looks super cool. Um, white matte. Yeah, for sure. And I actually tested out the, uh, the can cook can sleeve which is super awesome. I've got one, I've got one here. You guys can see this is, this is an awesome Ducks Unlimited. You can kind of see that, but I was on the beach last week in Florabama and uh, down in Alabama. <laughs> and uh, my, my friends had Yetis that they had to screw off. They're really heavy. I was just popping cans in and out like this and uh, it worked the same. I mean, that's the thing. It's like double wall insulation. So you're paying a lot just for that Yeti brand. And I understand that hot marketing is cool, but um, Thermos has well, a good thing, name. That thing's like 12 bucks, right? You know, tw yeah. 12 bucks, 13 bucks, something like that. Exactly. So Thermos really, they innovate. Um, they've got nine or uh, almost a thousand patents. So people don't realize like all these drink lock, they trademark everything. Drink lock ceiling lid so it doesn't leak. Um, You've got the built-in tea hooks, which is super cool. I think this is Kathy, our VP of sales. She loves to drink tea. So she says, I don't know how many times I've burned my finger trying to get the tea bag out of the of the travel mug. And this tea hook's amazing. You can loop the string around it, brew your tea. It's pretty awesome. So here's some more innovation. We've got the uh, spoons that fold up and click into the lids for the food jars. And you can another food jar here you can actually take this out and microwave your spaghettios and drop them back down into the double wall and keep it hot Brett, make sure you keep an hours. eye on that for your spaghettios when you bring them in yeah this is a case study for uh that trap that um help that uh can cooler i think it's cool because it's got that rubber sleeve at the top that kind of overlaps so that's where you get the tension you don't have to screw anything on you can tilt it up and it won't drop out because the rubber stops the can. So when you're at your kid's soccer game, they don't know whether you're drinking beer or soda. Is that exactly. You can only see the top right there. It's perfect. Not that I, not that you drink beer at the kid's soccer games at all. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how the game's going. Yeah. But this was a, this was a gift for, um, you know, it was like a member incentive. So if you join Ducks Unlimited, donate $100 or more toward the conservation project, then you get this little deal. So that's a perfect giveaway. Um, also lanyards, uh, I gotta talk about lanyards because we're a $60 million company at Snugs and promo in that space. And probably half of that is lanyards. 
And we also do personal care, sanitizer, all that stuff. And everybody's like, oh, I bet you guys killed it during the pandemic. You know, all the sanitizer you guys made. Well, yeah, but we didn't sell a lanyard for almost 10 months. There's no events. People were, you know, now they're coming back with a, with a vengeance. Everybody needs lanyards. And I'll just say this about lanyards. You need to really think about a lanyard as a brand extension, not just something to hold the badge. You know, if you're, if you're buying lanyards for your employees, if you are just, you know, wearing them at an event, uh, make it look cool. I mean, lanyards are, are it's, it's just like wearing a billboard for your company around your neck to give these away, especially do full color, do some cool badges. Uh, we've got tons of options. The guys know, they call me all the time. Okay, what's the best option for this? What's the best option for that? And uh, we start with the imprint. You know, let's do some really cool design on it. And I agree yes. with you completely on lanyards, man. I, you know, the funny thing is that lanyards can be, even for us in the industry, it can be overwhelming because there's so many different kinds. And I know Brett would would concur, I think, on that. But absolutely, that I, I love the idea of going kind of, if, if your brand allows for it to go crazy with graphics, if you, if you can, a lot of times it's not, um, you know, if it's not that much more money, I think you get a lot more bang for the buck. Yeah, we do have a program. Uh, we do a lot of stuff in the States, but we try to take advantage of import when we can. We've, we vetted a factory for the last three years over there where we do a rush import program that includes all the attachments, shipping, everything to one U.S. location in eight days. So talk about domestic uh, full color lanyards, it's about half the price. So if you guys have the time and I think it's 500 minimum, we can get those you know, to you at a, you know, really reasonable cost for dice sub, almost like better than domestic one color screen print. I'm sure the lanyard business kind of took a hit last year, right? With everything yeah. shutting we down. <laughs> we didn't give it an order for nine months, like I said. Yeah, uh, it was, that was a little bit wild. Uh, I'm sure it's picking back up for you. Yeah. Uh, so sanitizer is still a thing. I mean, I think people are reopening. We want to get back to work, get back to business. Sanitizer is, uh, for us, we make it in-house. It's all FDA approved. We have testing, deep inventory. We can get it out in one to two days, tons of different bottle options. And again, it's about the design, the full color labels. And, uh, you know, if you've got to give sanitizer away at an event, talk to the guys about snug sanitizer. It's the best in the industry. It doesn't stink. It doesn't have that alcohol smell, really quality stuff. And what's funny about sanitizer is it was definitely an option. I think we sold a lot of before, like pre-COVID. Yeah. Certainly with COVID, it became, you know, much more of a, like what I would call just a mission critical product than it was a promotional product. And then <laughs> it was as a we're coming crazy out, stuff. yeah, as we're coming out the backside, I feel like what's happened is we're settling somewhere in the middle to where it's almost become, it's kind of back. It feels like it's back to like a promotional product, but it also feels like it's something that our customers are just wanting to have around the office all the time. And obviously supply at the beginning of all everything that went on was really, really difficult. And now it seems like we're back to a point where sanitizer can be had, you know, yeah. pretty easily. Well, regardless of the pandemic, it's always been a big seller just you know, to fight the common cold and just keep yourself, you know, safe. You're shaking hands all day in the office doing that kind of thing. And um, it's a great trade show giveaway. Um, we've got a, get, a a BOGO, they call it, buy one, give one. So if you if you purchase a eight ounce sanitizer pump for the offices, we can donate a um, one ounce to a charity of your choice. That's pretty cool. And would the, would the donated product just have the same logo that would be on the eight ounce? Yeah, we do a promote the good, but I think at higher quantities, so I get up to like 2,500 pieces of the eight ounce, we can put any logo you want to on there. Uh, we have these, you know, we make these every day on the shelf because we, none of the sanitizer is more than five or six days old when you get it because we make it and put it in the bottle, which is why we're in a good place for sanitizer because we didn't, import sanitizer from China. You don't know what's in it. A lot of people in our industry got stuck with the bunch of sanitizer they couldn't unload after the pandemic slowed down. We don't have that problem because we make it fresh. Lip balm too. I, I love our lip balm. You know, there's lots of lip balm options in our industry. And I like to call it craft lip balm because, you know, we make it in-house, we mix it up. If you want to, if you want to put a flavor in it, like coconut flavor or something, we're going to make it, mix it up, put it in the tube, decorate the tube and ship it to you. So it's kind of like, it's like craft beer. You know, we're making this craft lip balm that's super 
awesome. And uh, don't discount this as a, you know, people are like, oh, well, it's just a, it's under a dollar. It's a good giveaway, but you can make these look really cool. And again, you know, 66% of everybody in the world uses lip balm daily. And then when you talk about if they get a lip balm they like, they're going to, they're going to put it on um, 90 to 110 times in one lip balm. So that's a lot of brand exposure. <laughs> and look at that in the left-hand corner. This is uh, sugar-free mints in a rectangular flip top. So it's like a Tic Tac box. We took that same idea with that duo bottle for the sunscreen, dropped the lip balm into the mints. So that makes it a really, really nice, uh, you're looking at two, $2 for a trade show giveaway or just, it's just an awesome gift with super cool full color branding. So here, I don't know if my video is on or not, but we did. Yeah. Is my video on now that I'm talking? But yeah. here's, okay, so here's the lip balm that you guys did for us as a self promo that we we give away and we have in the office here. So if anybody's on the call and wants some lip balm, we'll send some out to you. Just let us know. And that, of course, it's Snug's lip balm. It is Snug's lip balm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not to put you on the spot there, but. I'm just kidding. You guys are awesome. Yeah, here, so, let's see. Hold on. It says, yep, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our uh, uh, tech is another big, you know, category that you guys are. We, we don't have chargers and electronics and things like that, but we've got some really cool items like blue blocker glasses that, uh, that come from retail. We've got... Um, the phone grip, the flat phone grip, the Momo stick is super awesome. And stuff like Dye Sub mobile uh, stands where you can, they fold flat and they've got aluminum inside them. And you can prop up your iPads and everything. I've just got a laptop because I've been working from home for the last year. I use that for my second screen on my iPad just to keep the internet up while I'm working. Um, here's a case study on this uh, super cool Momo stick. You can charge through it because it's, it's so flat easy to put in your pocket and it makes a nice stand so you can watch your phone stand your phone up um, and it's super heavy duty vinyl beautiful full color so this was we did twenty thousand for a software pre, new software platform that um you know they sign up for a uh for a demonstration and you would um get this cool momo stick and i love this piece it's like i call it the adult pop socket because I don't want that big mushroom. I do like this option. I mean, we get people asking us for pops. So what, Steve, I don't remember what the price point ballpark on something like this was. I'm pulling it up. It's around six bucks. Yeah. Okay. So it's similar to a pop socket. Yeah. 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 And it's full color graphics, right? Right. Super cool. I love mine. I've had one on my phone for the last two years and it's very durable. It'll stay on there forever. It's got a nice adhesive and um, super cool. We also have uh, a line of aromatherapy products which I was telling the guys yesterday when we were talking, we are actually in a rebrand right now. So essential oils, diffusers, bath salts, that kind of thing, all with these aromatherapy oils. You guys, if you know aromatherapy, you probably know doTERRA, Young Living, some of these brands. This is the quality. It's, uh, it's really the pure, um, you know, it's not something you'd buy at Walgreens. This is really good quality essential oil. And, um, Again, it's easy for us to make in-house. We buy the uh, raw materials, make it up. This is a case study on one of our favorite products from this line. We've got a little burlap bag with an essential oil and a diffuser that clicks into your USB port. So if you're driving in your car, you can click this diffuser in there, drop a couple of drops on there, and it's like a mobile aromatherapy diffuser. You can plug it into your laptop, in your cubicle, wherever you're working, and it just creates that really nice... Uh, calming healthy environment so you can relax and get to work that's i gotta cool. give a, i gotta give a shout out to the the ohio state university go Bucks. yeah man yeah this is a corporate gift donor gift for uh for the school and uh you know it's very it's for something we talk about giving things that are unique and interesting so it's things that are not expected in the in our space it's not something that you see every day and that kind of thing, that that wow factor, this is one of those lines that just, oh my gosh, look at this. You got three branding opportunities for your company and your, your clients are going to be like, holy cow, this is so cool. I, I really do like the Zen line and I know I'll admit, and I think Brett, you probably agree with this. We haven't sold a ton of it, but I've always liked it. 
And uh, especially I think when there's a need to target women with a gift that's relevant to them, I think it's a great place for us to go. And so that's one thing I like about it is I think it's, and, and I think probably some sampling would go a long way with folks. If they watch this and they're interested, we'd work Absolutely. Get some samples to try this stuff out. Yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, not just women either. Guys, uh, I, I was shocked at, you know, to see, we introduced this four years ago at a show and people were like, what the heck is this? And then now it's like every, it's kind of gotten into the lexicon a little bit more out there where people are, know what it is and even the guys are really into it you know <laughs> i think it's really interesting i know brett wanted one yeah he wanted a diffuser for his office <laughs> I'm trying to smell better all the time <laughs> <laughs> we all are bro <laughs> but the candles are another uh huge um, category for snugs we actually hand pour these make them in-house they're all soy based really good quality uh you see there the little uh, eight ounce candle in a box We've got the scents are all stuff that's in retail already. We've got a scent we like called uh, Lava, which is, I don't know if you, any of you guys ever shop at Anthropology or uh, those kind of stores. They've got, it's an, it's kind of the same scent as the Blue Capri Volcano Candle that, you, you know, sells for $36 or something for an eight ounce. So a lot these, of our customers got, yeah. and actually you guys redesigned the concrete candle slightly, I know. Yep. Uh, Yep, but uh, we this was our client gift, I think, two years ago, Brett. You'll have to make sure that I'm right about that. When we sent them out, and we got a ton of positive feedback on that when we sent them out. Yeah, the concrete candle. I've got a picture of it here. This is, you know, it's super awesome because it's uh, it's it's heavy, but, I mean, it just looks cool with an engraved logo. This is a little gift set in a box with the uh, awesome apothecary jar matches that That's would stri that we strike sent. on the See, bottom. Right yep. yep, that set is exactly what we sent. And I love this little wooden box with the leather wrap candle. That's just incredible too, with the wooden wicks. Those are those are amazing. And when you, you get the scent and the quality together, and it's not that much. I mean, this set's you know fifteen dollars or something like that. It's perfect. We're getting Other, some love so, in the comments there, Steve. Some of the customers that got the candle last time, they're saying that. Ah, they're good. Yeah. So this is something that you guys can give out, and 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 really, it's got that retail feel. You know. We talk about curation, like Landon was talking about at the beginning. We curated this whole set based on what was hot in retail, from the labeling to the uh, little copper candle up here at the top, um, window jars, things like that. This is a case study uh, where a holiday gift was needed under $5 for loyalty program customers. We did a sugar cookie you know, candle scent for holiday. It's got you know, cool graphics and... Uh, this little craft box makes it just look cool, you know, and it's a, it's a nice gift that it, it, it's kind of like really the perceived value is a lot higher than that. What they Steve, do. I gotta be honest. That is a very specific quantity. Yep. 5402. <laughs> yeah, man, our marketing team, that, that, that probably means this is an actual case history, not one they made up <laughs> because it includes the overruns to the, uh, to the Goodson boys. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, Traverse line too. We, we created this line three years ago as a way to, uh, we actually import the leather from Kentucky. <laughs> and uh, this is really, we actually bring in the cowhide. So you could throw a cow, cowhide down on the floor of the factory. It looks like, you know, it's just, that's what it is. And it's all tanned um, to look really awesome. We've got distressed leather, white leather, a gray kind of suede leather. And we make journals and luggage tags and key rings and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. But this is a bigger line than that. We've actually kind of gone into uh, like a Sundance catalog style um, gift catalog with this. So you can get um, whiskey glasses and flasks and coasters and you know, the whiskey stones are super cool. I know you guys are from Kentucky. You like to drink that. Yeah, I was going to say, we've done several orders of that Mamba set. Yeah. And it's been very popular. Yeah. And what yeah, I'll tell you one thing I really love about your, that whiskey stone set is you do the box and the stones. And yep. uh, from time Two to time. Two areas. Yep. Yeah, from time to time in our industry, when you find a set of stones, they'll only do the packaging and not the stones themselves. So that's great. Yeah. And we've started on this set. We have a couple of rocks glasses with the stones. We can actually pad print now with, with, since we brought thermos in, we've got all this new printing equipment, so we can actually print a logo on these uh, dishwasher safe logo on these tum um, whiskey glasses. 
So that's been a really cool set as well. Um, gift sets are huge. Uh, onboarding, recognition, alumni, donor gifts, appreciation. We've curated a lot of cool gift sets with over our line. So you, you might see, uh, you know, a thermos in there too, or um, something like this. Here's some more Traverse. This is like walking into a cool retail shop uh, that you guys can put your logo on from beanies, candles, uh, journals. You see there, that's our full color recycled felt journal with leather accents. So that's super cool if you wanna do some full color branding. And uh, the guys can tell you it's, it's a big line. We've got a lot of different products. Here's the puzzle, the Sidewinder. I love this thing. It turned out so cool. And I hope you guys all got yours. Um, anybody that's on the call, let me know how, how to solve that Rubik's Cube thing because I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were saying earlier. I, I, even with the benefit of instructions, I took that actually the one on the right. Yeah, the one I had trouble putting back together. Yeah, so it was. That's uh, funny. I'll be interested to hear the customers and what they think of this. And yeah, it's it's well, a cool. Item. Yeah, and think about you know you get something like this and it's in a box and it looks super cool and that's kind of where we are. It's something unique, something retail that you know brings a smile to everybody's face and that's what you're trying to do with all these promo items is is to make them think about your company and your brand and and what it means and these guys that these guys pick the puzzle because that's kind of what that's kind of what they feel like they're doing is solving a puzzle for you. Um, you come to them. We want to we want to you know, make this happen in our company. We want more people to jump on board. How do we do that? It's like solving a puzzle, picking the right items. And so that just reinforces everything that Goodson's doing for you guys. Here's some more cool gift sets with Thermos uh, and some of our, you know, items that from all across Snug's line. So you've got sunscreen here in the bottom with a hydration bottle and uh, cooling towels. You've got the work from home gift set with the Momo stick and the little, uh, uh, stands all in a box and this is fun stuff like this that you guys that we can pack up for you and again we can do virtuals we can put your own logos on these so you'll see what they look like super cool stuff we also have a cut and sew line overseas called hue and t-shirts hoodies backpacks totes one piece minimum on these guys so if you want to outfit your team that's going out to a convention or Maybe you're putting, a, you know, you've got a uniform program, anything like this, and you want some cool dye sub, you know, all over imprint t-shirts or hoodies. These are awesome. And yeah, so what I would tell people about this is essentially imagine all this stuff starting all white. You can print yes. full color graphics all over edge to edge. And I know, I don't think we moved forward with it, but Brett was working with a moving company that had come and wanted hoodies for the, the guys and gals that were moving stuff out of the trucks and into the trucks. and we designed, we had some really awesome yeah. designs that were just full color graphics all over. And it turned out, it turned out really cool. And again, I think this, I know my thing when I saw this initially was like, yeah, that sounds really cool. Full color graphics, but is the item itself quality in terms of the t-shirts and the hoodies? Yes. And we've got samples here and it is, and we'd be happy to send you a sample so you can see for yourself. Yeah. And the sky's the limit. Like you see the skull candy headphones on the side of the hoodie that, that kind of, you can make this any way you want. You can design it any way you want. And let's say you don't, you're not feeling creative like like the art guy here who loves this stuff, you know, <laughs> because I get to play around with all these full color graphics and that kind of thing. And uh, we've got stock graphics. I've got um, just hundreds of stock graphics at Snugs that we put together that you can, you know, if you don't like the colors, we can change the colors, but you like the patterns, uh, that kind of thing. Um, like you could pick the stock back background and, and that we did for Travel Channel, change it up. This is actual virtual for the tote bag that we just introduced this year. This is heavy uh, poly canvas, um, really durable. Here's another look at the travel channel from the other side. Um, just three different sizes, so you can get whatever size you want. Here's another one for NYX. But like the background's cool. You can design this any way you want. You don't have to have that yellow bottom. They just thought that was cool. So here, here's an example of some of our stock backgrounds that you've got uh, palm trees. So this is actually, this actually, this design uh, 
uh, can be changed to any color you want. So if your colors are say uh, green and gray and black, we can make the same pattern with those colors easily. So you see there the backpacks, the drawstring, the lanyard, you've got the duo bottle sunscreen, um, all that stuff that's uh, that you know can be curated into a collection that really extends your brand all the way through. So we love doing that kind of thing at Snugs and. You know, it's it. You guys have a choice of who you work with. There's lots of people in this space. You know, you're really lucky. You're on this call with some guys that are super smart and super creative that have my cell phone number, and that's what it's all about in this business. And I think that's where where you guys can really uh, get the ideas going. And they work with me, and we don't ever have to talk, but. We're, I'm in the background. I'm I'm helping these guys come up with cool shit. Sorry, I said shit. All right, that's all I got today, guys. I don't want to keep you too long, but uh, I, yeah, no, that, just a little overview. Awesome. Steve, as I said, thank you um, for your time, and and I think there's some some stuff here that everybody is going to be able to make use of. But there was two things I thought of that I wanted to point out. One is I meant to comment. You mentioned a few times through the presentation, the Zip It program. And yes, so I just wanted to contextualize sort of rush for our customers in general, which is, you know, many suppliers have a similar program. They'll call it different things. But in general terms, the way that our rush programs work is usually the vendor will ship it anywhere from, say, 24 hours to two to three days, depending on what the fees are. And nine times out of 10, if you've got something that you need shipped like that, that means that we're not getting a paper proof back, which a lot of our customers will be. They know that in our order management process, they'll get a proof that's sort of a supplier proof that they're gonna approve. And so when you do that, a lot of times you just don't have time for that. So you're sending the order in, you know, we've got obviously great graphics people to make sure that art is correct so that we shouldn't have an issue. Um, and then basically, as you said, I think it was 2 p.m. Eastern time, you have it in by 2 p.m. Yep. It ships the next day, meaning we're putting the order in, they're getting the artwork, they're going straight to production, no proofing and shipping. And that's only in those times when you've got a super, super tight in hands date. And uh, you guys ship from, Utah, which should be. We've got uh, a Utah three, ship point days, and a Texas ADI. ship point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, we can ship from either one. We'll depend on yeah. where it's going. We can break it up. So. Yeah. And the other point that I was going to make is that last image that you showed with the Hughes stuff, I think serves as a great example of, you know, just sort of this idea of all products kind of having this complementary brand design. And in yeah. this case, it's all, you know, Snugs items, the Hue collection. But I would say that the philosophy shown here is you know, something that we, we also then try to extend across everything that we do um, for our customers. So um, anyway, that's that's all. It's, it's been great. Hey, does anyone real quickly, I know we're, we're just past 45, 1045. Does anybody have any questions or comments that they want to they wanna bring up to Steve or Brett or myself? I'm going to move to, and if not, that's, that's fine. So, you know, one of one of the things I always want to say at the end of this is if you've seen anything here that, uh, and certainly please unmute, interrupt me if you got something you want to say, but we're happy to send you samples. Obviously we can get ideas and pricing to you really quickly. Uh, Ross, I think commented, which I appreciated. He said, you know, you should be getting your puzzle from us. If you haven't yet, please reach out to us. We'll get you tracking on that. Um, as a matter of fact, does anybody not, you know, either just pop it in the comments or anything, if you haven't received it, let us know so we can get you the information. And I think that's it. Brett, do you have anything you want to add? No, I mean, Snugs is just by far my favorite in a lot of different categories. Um, I think just the craft aspect of things from their low end items like the chapsticks and the sanitizers all the way up to their traverse line and the sin line. I mean, there's a, an extreme attention to detail um, with the aesthetics, with everything that goes into what these guys pump out their doors. And I think that's why I just appreciate them so much. Um, and not only that, but just the way that you guys present your products on your website in a very, very clean and attractive manner is second to none in the industry to where I get a really good sense of what it is that I'm showing my clients. And then I also feel very comfortable with sending my clients to your guys' website. And it feels, it's craft from the product to the showing. Um, nice. And, that, and that, it's, that, it's just hard to come across in our industry. So no, love you guys, love everything you're doing and hope to, to move more stuff with some of my clients and get everybody taken care of with you. All right. All right. 
Well, Steve, appreciate it, man. We so hopefully much. we'll be sending you some business. We'll send you some requests for samples, some spec samples, things like that. Yeah, and everybody else, thanks, thanks for taking the time to join. And uh, next month, we've got um, Reddit's Batch and Bodega, right? HPG Brands. But Batch and Bodega is our, is our partner for next month. They specialize in kind of maker uh, food gift sets, which, believe it or not, as we move you know, closer into the end of the year and with stock issues and stuff, I think we've mentioned that we're going to be talking to customers about holiday gifting much earlier this year to try to secure stock. And that's going to be our first step into that. So, um, so yeah, thank you everybody. And we'll, we'll be in touch. Appreciate it guys. Thanks. Have a great day. Awesome.